users of public service vehicles are now complaining that PSB providers have not slashed commuter fare prices following the dramatic drop in fuel prices. But as Keaton's Najma Ismail reports, the PSV operators and owners have maintained that it is not only fuel that determines the rates they charge commuters. Super Petro has reduced by nine shillings and 13 cents. Diesel has reduced by seven shillings and 50 cents. While kerosene decreases by five shillings and 78 cents. The last time Kenyan saw fuel prices drop to 94 shillings was at least five years ago. This move by the Energy Regulatory Commission to reduce pump prices has been received well by many. And most people now are wondering why commuter fare prices and the cost of living are not showing signs of dropping soon. <laughs> Until now, public transport owners have not done anything to indicate that they are working on modalities to reduce the fare prices. Kenyans are not happy. Nilejua akota kuwa na ibakti kwa fare. Shauri, watu wamesoe atu beikubwa kila andaika. Watu wanataka pesa mingi kila andaika. Kila wakati. On the other hand, public transport vehicle owners have defended themselves, saying that fuel is not the only factor that determines the amount of commuter fare. They cite things like paying drivers and touts, mechanical fees and taxes. A group of youth calling themselves the Ford Kenya Youth League are warning they would take drastic measures if commuter fare prices do not come down soon. Most affected people are young people because like the fuel, uh, most people who use uh, private cars uh, are not youth. Most youth use commuter vehicles. A section of Kenyans are also asking the government and public transport vehicle owners to agree on guidelines for determining commuter fare prices for different parts of the country. Najma Ismail, KTN.